Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. earlier models uh, which we have uh, discussed uh, about uh, the leader member uh, exchange theory and Vroom, Vroom's uh, Wetton decision tree model is there. Now, interestingly with the period of research because earlier the trade theories, the behavior theories and on basis of the, uh, those theories the different models have come. So, now the question arises about this situation and th therefore, in that case the situational leadership model uh, that we will see that is the uh, how it has been working. Now, in the situational leadership model, the four types of the leader behavior is there, right? Uh, that we will be discussing. The followers' readiness to uh, is um, very much important. Uh, uh, then the maturity levels of the follower. Uh, then a new employee uh, in, the, in that situation. And then, uh, in case of the situational leadership model and uh, in interactional framework, uh, the as usual, the case study, the research papers, book uh, book recommendations, uh, and the references uh, uh, that we will be discussing, right? So here, whenever we are talking about the situational leadership model, the is also called the Hershey Blanchard's model. Is primarily concerned with the maturity level of the team's members. Is there? This is one of the uh, model of the situational leadership. And in this case, in Hershey Blanchard's uh, model, uh, there, there are the in different situations have been considered, and the leader should adopt the flexible leadership style. And uh, high maturity team members are experienced and able to make decisions uh, independently. And therefore, in that case, uh, that is the whenever there is the um, followers, uh, those who are having the team members means the followers basically are the your team members are there. And when they are having the high maturity level are there, then definitely uh, yes, they can take their decisions, uh, make decisions very independently. So, uh, for uh, for uh, for example, uh, the section heads. Hmm. So, section heads uh, uh, they, uh, it is expected that they are having the high maturity uh, model is the uh, maturity level will be there and when they are having the high level of maturity then definitely their decisions uh, that they, they, they can take the decisions independently and uh, here we will talk about the moderate maturity employees are capable. Uh, but uh, lack confidence, uh, right? So the the another uh, category of these uh, uh, these uh, the uh, uh, the followers are that they are having the not high maturity, they are having the moderate maturity. But uh, uh, as a high maturity level, they take the decisions independently. The moderate maturity employees are capable, but lack confidence, uh, or have confidence but are not willing to complete the task they are assigned. So therefore, uh, uh, they they because of lack of confidence. Uh, they are not willing to complete the task uh, what their task have been assigned and the low maturity employees are an enthusiastic and willing but do not have the skills or experience to complete the task is there so here uh, the Hershey Blanchards have talked about the three maturity uh, level uh, where the high maturity moderate maturity level and the low maturity level is there the situation leadership model offers answers to two important leadership questions is there is is there an optimum way for leaders to adjust their behavior with the different followers and thereby increase their likelihood of success and therefore in that case uh, it, it will be always uh, important uh, that is the, the leader has to adjust uh, uh, the behavior according according to the maturity level of followers so if they are different followers and their uh, 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 the maturity levels are different then definitely in that case uh, uh, the leader uh, uh, is uh, supposed to have uh, this particular uh, uh, the uh, flexibility that is how to adopt uh, the the maturity level is there what factor should the leader base uh, his behavior on the followers intelligence uh, right and therefore uh, in that case uh, uh, it, it, it is the it become very very important that is the the leaders uh, behavior 
right the followers intelligence uh, that has to be taken care of. So, uh, in, in, in the case the is the followers intelligence is important or is the personality traits are important, the value system of the follower is important or the preferences uh, which he has uh, is important or the technical competence is, is important right. So, therefore, in that case the leader has to take care of uh, uh, these different dimensions and when he takes care of these different dimensions uh, then in that case he will be adopting the different uh, leadership uh, um, maturity uh, maturity model. So, here uh, you will find that is the there are the four types of the leaders are there leader behavior is there and those uh, that is a task uh, um, behavior and the relationship behavior is there. When the task uh, behavior um, uh, is direct directive behavior is there. So, in the case there is a uh, low relationship and low task is there right. So, when it will be happening uh, that when there is a delegating is there. So, delegating means giving that particular uh, 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 opportunity uh, to the uh, followers. So, that uh, they, they will be there is not necessarily to interact with much uh, with them and therefore, there will be uh, their uh, low, uh, low relationship and low task is there. So, here you will find that there are the R1, R2. 2 R3 and R4 are there. There is the unable and the unwilling uh, for, for, for the insecure is there. So, if R1 style is there, unable and unwilling is there, um, then in that case you have to go for the telling style. Telling style means that is the autocratic style is there. So, in autocratic style because the neither uh, they are willing to work, your followers are uh, uh, unable and unwilling right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, it, it is always better that is the uh, you are having the telling style is uh, uh, is adopted. The second maturity level is that that is the unable, but willing or the confident is there and therefore, in that case uh, this type of the followers they, they are willing to perform. Simple example, if I do not know the uh, operation of this particular machine how to do that, then in that case uh, I, I, am, I am unable right, but I, I, I want to know and I want to do this job. So, they are the willing or, or, or the confident type of these uh, uh, the followers are there. When you are having the unable, but the willing or confident employees, then you can go for the selling style of these uh, the leadership style. Selling style means that is the explaining explaining them uh, and, and the uh, persuading. The, so, therefore, in that case uh, what will happen that is they will be able to, um, uh, to do the task because they, they, they are unable, uh, but willing, uh, uh, willing is willingness is there. So, once you ex leader, leader should explain them, selling means explain and persuading there. So, here it will be high task and high relationship will be there. Now, whenever we are talking about the third level of R3 level uh, of the level, maturity level of the followers, they are able, but unwilling or insecure. So, if they are uh, unable, uh, but they are able, they are competent right, um, but uh, they, are, they are not doing the task that, that is the uh, unwilling to perform. Hmm? Uh, but they are con so, therefore, it, it is uh, that is the it will be the encouraging, encouraging will be the and the problem solving. So, therefore, what you have to do? You have to interact with them because these are the, these are the employees uh, those who are very important and uh, they are f because they are able. So, competent employees are there but they are not performing. So, whenever these competent employees are not performing, you have to give them the encouraging also and the problem solving also. So, once uh, you adopt uh, this, uh, this particular style, uh, then definitely in that case you will find that, I, that, that is the your leadership style will be more successful according to the situation is there. Suppose, uh, uh, you, you are having the able and willing and confident employees. You know? So, therefore, from unable to we have gone to the able and unwilling R1 to the R4 that is the unwilling to the willing. So, when we are having able and willing, so no telling style no autocratic style is required, no selling style because they know their jobs and uh, uh, they, they are willing, uh, willing also uh, uh, and uh, they, they are able also. Here uh, they are able uh, because they are able, so it is, it is not like that that is the unwillingness because they are having the willingness also. So, therefore, in that case it, it is just an observing and monitoring 
that will do because these are the competent employees. And whenever you are having these competent employees, uh, uh, those who are able and willing, then definitely you can give the what, what will be the leadership style? That will be the delegating style will be there. So, therefore, these four leadership styles, telling style, selling style, participating style and delegating style. And these all these four style of this uh, leadership that will depend on the R1, R2, R3 and R4 situations. That is the maturity level of followers, whether the, they are able and willing delegating is there, they are able but unwilling participating is there, uh, they are unable but willing selling style is there and uh, uh, telling style is that, that is totally they are unable and unwilling is there. Here you can also connect uh, what we have discussed uh, earlier A1, A2, C1, C2 and G2 that is about the autocratic style and participative style and democratic style and therefore, in that case uh, uh, whenever you find people are the uh, very hard to work uh, to then, then in that case you be autocratic style. So, as per the situation, you you do this uh, act, you act uh, um, uh, as per the situation and adopt the flexible leadership style. So, it achha, there is one more important point is there um, uh, that is the um, uh, in, in the case the one person, one person can be unable and unwilling for the one task, but he can be able and willing for the another task. I hope you are getting my point that is the, the same person. So, it is not about the person, it is about the in a given situation and person. So, for a given task if the person is able and willing right. So, then definitely in that case you can go for that particular uh, uh, this delegating style, but the same person can be unable and willing with the same person you can adopt the selling style. So, what I want to say that is it will be the situation, the person is same situation changes immediately you have to also change your leadership style. So, um, uh, four types of uh, this uh, delegating style, other team members to be responsible for certain tasks to lead subgroups. And this style best suits a team of high maturity employees because it requires team members to be both confident and capable. Then the participating style is there, this style focuses on sharing ideas and decisions. Leaders who use the participating style might apply it to moderately mature team members who are capable but lack confidence and need one on one mentoring is there. Selling style is there, this team refers to a style that involves the leader attempting to sell his ideas to the group by perceptively giving task instructions. This may sometimes suits moderate team members, but it is best used with the employees who are confident but unable to complete the task is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, this leadership style will be working with the uh, those employees right, those who are confident but unable to complete. So, what you uh, selling means you will give the ideas, you will support them, so that they can perform the task. The telling style is that is the autocratic style is there giving explicit directions and who supervise all tasks closely. This style best suits the low maturity followers who are unwilling as well as unable to act uh, independently and therefore, in that case they will be having the telling style is there. So, in situational leadership followers readiness refers to the followers ability and willingness to accomplish a particular task uh, and therefore, in that case uh, in, in, in case of the situational leadership uh, uh, right the followers uh, that ability and willingness right that is becoming a, a maturity uh, parameters to accomplish a particular task. So, readiness is not an assessment of an individual's personality right, our trait values age and so on. It is not a personal characteristics, but rather how ready an individual is to perform a particular task. So, as I mentioned that there will be the readiness is there. So, therefore, if the person is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, ready to perform a particular task right, uh, but uh, uh, then uh, he is not having that uh, ability then definitely you will adopt the appropriate which a uh, selling style you will apply. So, any given follower could be low on readiness to perform one task, but higher readiness to perform a different task. So, therefore, focus uh, on that particular situation for certain tasks like for example, uh, the Turing task. So, for, for Turing task one may be able, but unwilling. So, which leadership style you will adopt? 
right. So, you will be adopting the participating style is there. One person who is able and willing that particular task of touring, right. So, therefore, he is willing for touring also, he is also able. So, what type of the leadership style you will adopt? Correct. So, that is the delegating style will be there. So, therefore, in that case the appropriate leadership style will be adopted, uh, uh, the unable and unwilling, the knowledge is, uh, followers like the knowledge, skills and willingness. Yeah, I, I always talk about the cash model and therefore, in that case you will find that is the KSA, knowledge, skill and attitude and, and therefore, the willingness is an attitude is there. So, if you if you adopt that knowledge, skill and willingness, uh, then maturity level of unable and the unwilling is there. So, then if it is low, right, then definitely we will go for the autocratic style. Unable but willing is there. So, followers are willing and enthusiastic, but the leg the ability is there. So, therefore, in that case when they are uh, unable and the willing, because already I have mentioned uh, earlier also in this style that is the for the unable uh, but willing is selling style, able yet unwilling is participating style, able and willing there will be the delegating style will be there. So, this is this where the maturity levels are there. Now, let us take an example of the new employee. A new person joins our team and you are asked to help them through the uh, first few days. Uh, you sit in front of a PC and tell them you have some work to do and then you leave for a meeting. A very interesting exercise you can do uh, to implement and check uh, this uh, uh, particular leadership model. So, uh, whenever a new person uh, that is the new employee uh, uh, who, who joins you and then you want to find out that what is the maturity level of this particular person, right. So, therefore, uh, you have to uh, uh, tell them you have some work to do and then you leave for a meeting. Um, what happened? Here the follower is on R1, um, unable and unwilling and you have opted S4, delegating. So, everyone loses as the new person feels helpless and unmotivated as well as you failed as a leader. So, um, therefore, in that case uh, uh, whenever the new person has joined, what should have happened? You should have detailed instructions and a checklist for the new person. You should have opted for S1 telling leadership style is there. So, that is a close supervision and directions which are which are supposed to be given to this the new employee is there. Because you have just said and you are assuming that is this new employee will be able to do, but definitely in that case because the person is uh, uh, new to organization, he does not know what to do, how to do, uh, whether it is right or not. So, his confidence level is very low, right. So, you cannot go for the delegating here dear friends. So, what is required is that is here the that is the clear cut instructions are required, directions are required and that is a telling style is required. In the case of the situational leadership and uh, interactional framework is there, so uh, tell, uh, here the telling, selling, participating and delegating, decision to use the, uh, that there is a developmental uh, interventions are to be there. So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever we are talking about the accomplishment of any task which is to be completed or increase the follower readiness, uh, this is very, very important. A very, very important point uh, uh, I think that is the you should also observe readiness. Many times uh, I come to across this particular situation and find that is the uh, even the person because he is able and unwilling and therefore, his readiness is low. Readiness is low to perform, readiness is low to accept. So, uh, uh, readiness, right, and we can talk uh, later on in detail about the readiness of followers, right. So, what is required to increase the readiness? Developmental interventions are needed. Now, again here is the question that how effective will be your developmental uh, interventions, because if the person's uh, uh, is uh, maturity level is low, even you try to give the him the in developmental instrumentations um, uh, interventions uh, apply, uh, but uh, he will not be able to um, grasp it, he will not uh, accept it, no. Therefore, uh, he is uh, he will be reluctant to um, uh, increase his readiness. So, you are all developmental interventions that will fail. So, what to do in that case? You have to find out the person is able or not. A person is able and his readiness is low, 
right. So, you have to go for the participating style, but your participating style if it does not work, right. So, then you have to see whether the person uh, has uh, after the consult consulting the person and encouraging what was the word that was encouraging and participating, but encouraging and participating you are asking him that is ok what is the problem why you are not delivering you are supposed to deliver like this you, uh, you can do this, but he is not delivering he is not able to understand your instructions then in that case it is better to be the telling style uh, move to the telling style is there because his ability will be converted into unable. Right, because uh, 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 unwillingness is there already, and we were classifying that particular person into the able, but that person is not into that able category. So therefore, in that case, he is. Uh, uh, it was our wrong notion that is the uh, for that particular task. He we will treat him as a unable, if our developmental intervention does not work. So, therefore, you have to find out that what is the followers readiness is there and it seems that, that there is no readiness is there. So, what is the task to be accomplished uh, that, that, that is the situation is there and if the task has to be accomplished uh, timely then definitely in that case uh, the leader has to take the action and get the work done right. So, case study why are not they listening uh, Jim Anderson is a training specialist in the human resource department of a large pharmaceutical company in response to a recent uh, company wide survey Jim specifically designed a 6 weeks training program on listening and communication skills to encourage the effective management in the company very interesting and relevant case for you. So, Jim's goals for the seminar are twofold for participants to learn new communication behaviors and for participants to enjoy the seminar. So, they will want to attend the future seminars. The first group to be offered the program was middle level managers in research and development. This group consisted of about 25 people nearly all of whom had the advanced degrees are there. Most of this group had attended several in-house training programs in the past, so they had a sense of how the seminar would be designed and run. Because the previous seminars had not always been very productive, uh, many of the managers felt a little uh, uh, disillusioned about the coming to the seminar. As one of the managers said, here we go again a fancy in-house training program from which we will be gain nothing. Because Jim recognized that the managers were very experienced, he did not put many restrictions on attendance and the participation. This is to be learned, right? That is, the, those who are having the uh, already experienced one. So, attendance and participation is an, you cannot make the compulsory as, as per the your uh, young uh, students in the class. He used a variety of presentation methods and actually solicited environment from the managers in the seminar. Throughout the first two sessions, he went out of his way to be friendly with the group. He gave them frequent coffee breaks during the sessions. During these breaks, he promoted socializing, socializing and then networking is there because they were the experienced persons. During the third session, Jim became aware of some difficulties with the seminar. Rather than the full complement of the 25 managers, attendance has dropped to about only 15 managers. Although the starting time was established at 8.30, attendees had been arriving as late as the 10 o'clock. During the afternoon session, some of the managers were leaving the sessions to return to their offices at the company. As he approached the fourth session, Jim was apprehensive about why things had been going poorly. He had become quite uncertain about how he should approach the group. So, many questions were running through his mind. Uh, had he treated the managers in the wrong way? Had he been so easy regarding attendance at the sessions? Should he have said something about the managers keeping out in the afternoon? Were the participants taking the seminar seriously? If you are the gym, how you will handle this particular situation? This is your assignment. Jim was certain that content of the seminars was innovative and substantive, but he could not figure out why he could change to make the program more successful. He sensed that his style was not working for the, this group, but he did not have a clue as to how he should change what he was doing to make the sessions better. What style of leadership is Jim using to run the seminar? Right? From a leadership perspective, what is Jim doing wrong? What specific changes could Jim implement to improve the seminars? Right? This will be a wonderful uh, uh, the assignment for you. This research paper uh, which you can uh, refer a test of the three basic assumptions of situational leadership uh, to model 
uh, and uh, situation relationship to model and their implications for the HRD practitioners are there. Uh, this paper is written by the Dre Zigermi, Ken Bell Blanket Companies uh, the, from the Escondido, uh, California, USA. And the uh, second author is uh, Taylor Python Roberts uh, from the uh, Valencore Consulting, San Diego, uh, California, USA. Purpose: This study aims to test the following three assert, uh, assertions, assertions. All four leadership styles are received by followers. That is the telling, selling, participating, and delegating. All four leadership styles are needed by followers. If there is a fit between the leadership style and uh, and uh, style a follower receives and needs, that follower will demonstrate favorable scores on the outcome variables are there. For the first and second assertions, a proportional breakdown of the four leadership styles uh, observed within a sample of working professionals is presented and discussed. And uh, the regarding the third assertion, the for 10 outcome variables, multiple one-way analysis of the variant tested mean differences between followers who experience leadership style fit. That is a fit between received and needed style and followers who did not experience fit. Right, and the sample size was the n is means the sample size. Sample size was the 573 is there. So, therefore, in that case that is the all these uh, leadership styles were uh, observed right and the ANOVA was there which is a statistical test which is used uh, uh, those who are the students they can uh, go uh, uh, to implement this style of the test uh, those uh, who are not from this uh, statistical background they have to understand this is a statistical test uh, by which we, we understand that is the who experience leadership style fit uh, and therefore, uh, for this purpose uh, uh, the sample size the, the the leaders who have been uh, uh, responded they were the 573. So, subscale scores from the leader action profile, the work intention inventory, the positive and negative affect scale and adopted form of the affective cognitive trust scale were used as a study measures were there. Three of these uh, uh, four leadership styles of the uh, uh, SL2 framework were reported as frequently received. Only three percent of employees reported uh, rec uh, receiving the S1, and that is the high direction, low support. While 33 reported receiving S2, high direction and high support, and 22 reported receiving S3, low direction and the high support, and 42 reported receiving S4, low direction and low support. Uh, that, that is about the delegating style is there. That the practical relevance of employees manager fit in situational leadership theory, particularly for the following outcomes work intention, total score, intent to perform, intent to endorse. Uh, intent to stay, intent to use organizational citizenship behavior, um, or positive effect, negative effect, affective trust uh, and the cognitive trust is there. And these were the parameters actually these are the dimensions of the behavior science which has been uh, uh, studied by this particular paper is there. So, as human resource development practitioners seek to uh, educate and train their leaders on how to be more effective with their direct reports, this research provides evidence that all four styles are needed and received. Although there were lower instances of the reporting the S1 style, telling style to be needed or received is there. Now, you see that these uh, I would like to have comment on this study uh, that is the here uh, we are taking the survey method and in survey method we are asking uh, or uh, interpreting on the basis of whether the anybody requires the telling style or not and naturally the findings will be nobody wants to go for the telling or autocratic style, everybody wants the delegating style is there. So, findings are the natural uh, in this particular paper. A fit exists between the leadership behavior they need and the leadership behaviors they receive. Uh, greater positive job effect is there, lower negative job effect increase the cognitive and affective trust uh, in the leader and high levels of favorable employee work intentions were evident. So, therefore, that maturity level and the leadership style that has to be matched. If the maturity level is low, then it is very difficult uh, to get the output or outcome as per the leader's expectations. So, this is the book that, that is a situational leader and uh, Dr. Paul Hershe has written this particular book, uh, uh, leader, uh, this, uh, the uh, Oxford uh, handbook of the leader member exchange book recommendations uh, and this book uh, uh, presents a situational leader model which provides a system for managing people that is both conceptual and practical. It has a scope that is a broad enough to permit its application to a wide range of situations and promotes a precise language in which managers could both understand and act upon the problems they experience in managing people. So, the main idea of the book is the one size does not fit all. 
So, therefore, that, that is the basic message that is the one style of leadership that will not be working for all is there. These are the references uh, which you can uh, refer for the purpose of uh, further studies and it has been the, about the book has been also mentioned. So, I recommend you that is the I found this model very interesting. We will be discussing the further uh, uh, different situation leadership models, but this model I found uh, one of the uh, one of the models uh, which I like most. Uh, uh, so, this is also one of them that is the yes uh, this is a situational model and um, uh, uh, what we say is they say jesa gana vesa bajana that is about the, the way the maturity level of the follower is there accordingly you have to act as a leader. So, uh, these, these references the books reference is also given. So, I am sure that will help you to be more effective and successful leaders. So, it is not only the effective leader it should be the efficient leader also that is the successful leader he will be there. So, this is all about the situational leadership and Hirschian branches model uh, about the leadership. Thank you.